Yeah, I'll be using infinite lives on here. I love the remake of this soundtrack, this track right here, but still not as good as the original. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? I love skates uh, when he comes on top of you, beats your head in.
Uh, leave Freddie Mercury alone. Stage always reminds me of Turtles of Time. Whoa. Oh, the tank will get blown up everywhere. Alright, find the road warriors now. You know, they named those two giant wrestlers, Warrior, Barbarian, El Gigante, obviously after the wrestlers. I don't know why they named some of these guys after the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. It'd be cool if they were like, they could re-edit re -edit these characters as bosses at some point, that'd be cool. You fight Animal and Hawk. Streets of Road Rage. Animal Hawk with the bodyguards, and then you fight Paul Ellering. Paul Ellering as the final boss. Ooh, I was get hit. Ooh, monies. Currency dinero. Apparently, here's the Road Warriors hangout. I think it's a movie called Road Warriors, is that right? I know there's Warriors, but Road Warriors, not sure. I think so. Is he done? Nope. Now he is. Ah, shut up. Go play some truck driver simulator. <laughs> Every time she does that, I think she's saying, How are you? I don't know if anybody in the chat actually knows what she's really saying. Angry truck driver. Mother trucker. Hey man, trucker don't play around. Bah! Keep on trucking. A willing dealing son of a gun. She's uninspired enemies, generics again. I like Sycophant. There's an old school YouTuber named Sycophant. He would always say, All right, here's uninspired character number five, a sunburnt Susan Sarandon, or whatever the enemy looks like. He 
get a uh, let's play of uh, I think Sailor Moon on the SNES French version or whatever it was. One of the funniest YouTubers ever watched. Here comes Chris Jericho now. Back when he had blonde hair. She wants to go out in a blaze of glory. Ooh. That's one way to do it, I guess. When he jump kicks. Hey! Hey! There we go. There we go. Nice. My favorite tracks in the game. I stroll through ECW Park. Jam box makes me think if I collect it, I'll wake up like this is a dream, like in Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. <laughs> what a diamond in the rough. Scarab or Scaram. What's this Kang Fu now? Ported over to uh, the Sega Genesis. This is probably what Kang Fu should have been like if done right.
Alright, enough clowning around. Buffoon. W lyrics in it. Oh yeah, I can't jump right there. I think you hit that barrel. Guess you can. Right, these guys are shooting Ridge One. Here we go. Burger. Water Burger. Humphrey. Humphrey, 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 don't bogart the burger, dude. Ooh, oh, well, got lucky right there. Ah, there we go. Forgot we can use backup.
And they can barely move to begin with. Escape with his jokes. <laughs> So I jumped to the pit like an idiot. Him slap me. <laughs> you see that? She jumped off. I never seen the CPU do that. Jumping off by mistake. Oh, 
I'm sure they got this idea for this level from Double Dragon 2. No, not the money! Ah, Blaze, what are you doing? back.
Right?
Love this track. Oh, I didn't even see that. Dang it. I saw something right there. I didn't realize that was it. I wish I could get this motorcycle. Okay, I think yeah, there is a stage where you get a motorcycle. Maybe we can't hear it in a minute. Definitely went out with a bang. Man, again! You're getting caught by those. Hands on deck. About to deck somebody. Look at that ECW skyline. Uh, this guy's back. Flick him away. That's right. What goes around comes around. I remember a rental store called Flicks, and their greeting on the phone was, Thanks for picking Flicks. I wonder, I didn't think about that for the longest time, but I wonder, you know, pick a flick, like you pick your boogers or whatever, pick your nose. I wonder if they did that on purpose to be funny, but discreet, like subliminal or not subliminal, but. That little inside joke in there, see if anybody catches that. Thanks for picking flicks. Oh, here he is. Bear in mind that this guy's tough. Ball bull's relative over here. He don't play around. Boxer slash wrestler, I think Dudley let himself go.
Here we go, ECW Hall. He kicked me. Diesel. Man, that's Kevin Ash. Another track in the stage. That's a cheap guy that drinks off the screen so that he can re replenish his energy. It's pretty cheap. ECW Gardens. Playing Shinobi now. I wish Joe Musashi was a character, in this, a lockable character in this game. That'd be cool. Around the stage looks, reminds me of Kung Fu Kid. That's what it looked like if it was remade 16 bit. That'd be cool. Maybe Zombie would agree. A remake of Kung Fu Kid for Sega Master System, but remake it 16 bit. That'd be cool. Ooh, 
lucky. Oh man, this is a character I usually use, but now I got a fighter. I don't actually use her, I, um, well, sometimes, but my favorite team to use in this game is Shiva and Rudra. But I like to switch it up though, and I just use them all the time. These two, Blaze and Rudra, that's the ECW cat fight. I'm sure Joey Styles would agree. Cat fight! Cat fight! I think you can do that when you play as her. She's cold though. Finally.
Hey! Vance has to go on my tag partner's blaze. She's a blaze of glory. Pipe down, will you guys? Big Ben from uh, Problem Child, what a douche. Dang, she suplexed him. Dang, three of them. This is a. Uh, I don't know what couch co op is, but this is a. Uh, oh, oh, I mean, like somebody with me? And physically? No, this is a CPU actually fighting with you. That's what's cool about this game. The CPU can fight alongside with you. Oh, I love this track too. EC Dub Slash. It is a nice feature. You can have the partner be the AI be aggressive, pa passive, stupid, or whatever. I'll show you after the if I don't forget after I beat this game, I can show you the options that it has for your CPU, how you want the your CPU to fight. And I pick aggressive right here.
Ouch. Jeez, how many more levels? Oh, here we go. Thanks to fake Mr. Rex, though. Yep. Debo now. Robotic Debo. Yeah, that's true. It sounds nothing like Mr. X. Dang it. This is the part I don't think I've ever beaten in Streets of Race 3. Like the countdown to get out of the building on time or whatever it is. Man. Uh, this, is, this is a different version. Yeah, I think this is it. do oh really I think it's a maze too or I guess in this version it tells you where to go I guess you gotta stack up oh wait. Stall or something, I don't know. See, that's cheap, man. It's like a maze. That's that's really that's not cool. It's like a maze. You gotta figure out where to go. I thought. Why did we go this way? 
Oh, no wonder. That was, uh... That's confusing, man. Make us see if we go in that door. Or no? I right, forget this. Yeah, it's gonna be game over here. This is so stupid. I don't like this part of the series. Street Race 3, the try to escape on time, because you don't know where to go. I only pick this path because I try to switch it up sometimes and then hoping to actually beat it one day. Sad, depressing ending. I need to look online to see exactly where I need to go or something next before I do this next time because that's so stupid. Well, at least they stopped Mr. X. At least they died heroes. Well, not really. I lost because I didn't escape the building on time and I blew up. So I got the sad ending. Yeah, I got to look online to find out where to go because, man, that's real tricky. You got to go throughout the right. The right. It's like a maze in order to escape. You got to fight and then go through mazes and escape the right path. So annoying. Hopefully still counts though as finishing the game because I want to keep all the currency I got to at least until I unlock some more stuff including the Streets of Rage uh, Maker. Oh good. Uh, I guess technically it's not a game over. Yeah, that's true. I still didn't want to get that ending. But at least I went out with the bank. I was using infinite lives anyway, but I would have beaten the game anyway at the rate I was beating the levels at. I would have beaten it legit anyway, but I have extra infinite lives unlocked in case I don't. And I want to switch it up with different characters, even though the ones I'm not good with. I unlocked that infinite lives. You can unlock that when you buy it in the shop. Yeah, face ending and the hill ending. The, uh, the last screen right here, stage 8, I guess going to show an explosion. They didn't show anything at <laughs> stage eight. Oh, 
almost have enough for the Streets of Rage Maker. Not quite. Next time I stream this game and beat it, I will have enough. All right. So that ends the stream. Thank you very much for watching. Vance, thank you for hanging out. I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care. Thank you.